Hey, and welcome to this video about making a slider in Bubble. Have you ever wondered how some of these apps out there have these really nice slideshows that you can thumb through and they're just very popular, you see them all around, such as what I have up on the screen here in the Airbnb app. Um, well, in this video, you're gonna learn how. What we're going to do over in this yoga app that is also available to build for free uh, on this channel, uh, links in the description, we are going to take this top row of images and we're going to turn these into uh, slideshows. So to do that, uh, you know, anyone watching this video, I'm sure you know a little bit about how things work in Bubble, um, databases, where to store data and things like that. For those that don't, uh, don't worry because we're going to cover how to set up the images in your database because you'll need, you know, something to display, obviously for the slideshow. So over here in our bubble editor, now you could obviously set this up as like an option set or some other things. We're just going to, you're gonna need uh, something in your data types. You could tie this to the user. Uh, here I'm gonna tie it to the actual yoga class only because it makes sense to. Um, if you wanna know more about data stuff, uh, you know, check out this video where this yoga class is actually, or yoga app is actually built. But we are gonna name this class images of a type image and it is a list of images so make sure that is checked we'll hit create there and then so now we have a field to store our images in so when we go and search for them in the slider we can find them uh, I've got some you know yoga classes here in uh, this database view what we're gonna do is just simply add to them here to this class image uh, these images will be available for download if you would like and so just go ahead and upload See, did I click add? Okay. And yeah, always make sure to click after you upload these, the add button. Otherwise, some confusion will follow as to after you hit save, nothing will get saved. Done that plenty of times. Okay. Uh, so with that set up, we'll do this next uh, yoga class and we'll add the images here. And so what we're going to do is there is a very nice slider, slideshow called the Wonderful Slider plugin, the Wonderful Image Slider plugin, and we're gonna grab that and install it into our bubble dashboard, and then we'll be able to put these images onto the page. So, okay, uh, once you've grabbed these images and you've got them into you know, an option set if you know about those or just, you know, a some kind of database field. Like I said, it could be tied to the user. You just need something in your database where over here, well, let's first off add the plugin. So click add plugins and then search for slider. And this wonderful image slider is free. Go ahead and install that and then hit done. And so now over here on our page. You might have a blank page that you're working with. Um, even just watching this video, obviously, right, can give you an idea of how does this plugin work. So this is, I mean, this is the magic. This is the, this is the, um, I guess the real value here of this video is to learn how this plugin actually works. First off, yeah, so you need that data set up. And then over here under visual elements, you'll find this uh, wonderful image slider amongst others. And then go ahead and just drop that into your page and here in the image list this is where you might need to do like do a search for where the data is um, if you're curious of how that type of stuff works again maybe you'll want to uh, visit some of the other videos on this channel um, what you'll want to do here though if you are following along with this particular app go ahead with your current cells yoga class and we're gonna grab class images is the image list that's going in here um, now for let's get this set up just so it matches some uh, let's see some kind of predefined dimensions I've got here we're going 260 with this by 190 and we're gonna go 20 here in fact we're gonna center that uh, horizontally and then the y value of, yeah of zero uh, we're gonna send this to the back um, okay and then we're actually but actually we're gonna send this image back even further but that keeps this white thing right on top of it which is you know what we want for the purpose of this one just for how this particular thing is set up this part of the design work actually will be different on yours perhaps and you might want 10 px on all of these here I'm just trying to match it so that the top ones have this and the bottom ones the corners are uh, flat so that's what this image border radius is uh, these bullet colors I am going to go 
uh, all the way white with them. And again, these are just stylistic choices, so you'll have to check. Basically, this um, there's a number of options that you can have here. Uh, you can make this clickable. You can uh, slides per view, space between zero a direction. Yeah, you could have it slide up or something like that. I want mine to slide vertically. Uh, here's what it would look like with navigation errors, arrows. We'll do pagination. Yes, we do. We want dots, and we do want clickable dots, so that's cool. So let's see now what we got here. Let's also see if there's any more. I really don't want don't want scroll bar, none of these things. Um, you could auto play this, it looks like. But okay, so you know those these arrows are not uh, that nice looking in my opinion. Uh, I prefer you know like what Airbnb has with this clean one with these dots. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off, but just kind of demonstrate. And that arrow color you could uh, edit down here. And looks like you could have a default for an image background. Um, some of these other ones. Let's go ahead and look at what it would look like if we put on autoplay. So we'll just say loop and we'll autoplay every 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And yeah, it looks like, you know, if here we're actually dealing with a mobile app, so we wouldn't have mouse wheels or keyboards, but perhaps you would have that, um, you know, if you're building a bigger one on a desktop. So let's see what this looks like. Yep, every one second it's sliding through here. So you could do something like that if you so desired. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm just going to clear that out. But basically, this is what it is to set up this plugin. Uh, you need to be able to have the images in a list, um, define you know a few characteristics of how you want the look and feel to be, uh, you know for example rounded corners or whatnot, and then basically uh, you know when we scroll and thumb through on this, you know we get uh, we get the movement here, but when we thumb through on this bottom part, we get the movement there. So very cool, a very nice. Uh, option if you're looking for a slideshow in bubble so if you've liked this video please like it <laughs> uh, with a with a mouse click uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos about learning how to build things in bubble thanks for joining